everybody, I'm Carl Sardella. And I'm Jessica Sachs. And welcome to our very first episode of The Pond. The Pond. We say in unison. Uh, this is a, uh, your weekly look at all things Big Fish. And we have a lot of stuff to talk about we today. We do have a lot of stuff. Uh, we're going to talk about the uh, Mystery Case Files. They have a new game. There's a new one? Yes. yes. And we're going to give you a little clue about what that game is. Uh, we are going to talk about a unique new game that, uh, that we're doing here at Big Fish. I'm really excited to That's talk about. Awesome. Uh, we're going to do some free stuff. Who doesn't love free stuff? Giving away some stuff. And also, talk about these uh, huge game that we're all playing, Gummy Drop, and some tips and tricks and to help you out uh, while you play it. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Let's get into the show. This week in Gummy Drop, we're going to talk about our friends, the Purple Builders. Have you met the Purple Builder yet? Yes. They are weird because I can't tell if it's like a purple onesie <laughs> or if that's actually their purple skin. I actually think they're like a little purple gummy man with like a yellow hard hat. I actually think that's uh, what they are. Okay. That makes sense. And let me tell you, these guys are important. So to progress from level to level in Gummy Drop, you have to build important landmarks across the various cities that you're visiting. And those landmarks, they require resources. Did you know that you can get resources by playing and replaying various levels throughout Gummy Drop? Yes, I learned that late and I'm glad you're telling people now because I needed those resources. Resources are key yeah. and in fact sometimes you can run out. And if you do, we recommend building resource marts. So every location has these resource marts that you can build and each resource mart gives you one resource and you can pick which resource it gives you. Pro tip, if you're in Sydney, there are three resource marts pretty close together that you can build and we recommend building one for each resource. Mm -hmm. This will help you accrue extra resources and get through Sydney much more quickly. I would do that in other strategy games. You know, you find the resource you want and you do a bunch of different types of them. Exactly. So you're always covered. And it just keeps you well stocked. Mm -hmm. So that brings us back to the little purple man. So to build these resource marts, that's why you need the purple guys. The purple guys, you need at least 10 of them, and they are the builders who build the resource marts for you. So to find the little purple guys, all you have to do is play levels in Gummy Drop. So one thing I wanna point out, if you take a look here at the level progress pyramid, this will show you what you get to earn every time you play a level. This is what I needed to know in the beginning. Yes. So you can replay each level three times, and as you can see here, sometimes you will earn gold and a little purple man the first time you play, but sometimes you have to play the level two or even three times to get your hands on the little dude. I remember that because I was like, where is this purple guy? I know, sometimes you're one short and you need to get this thing built, and that's where you gotta go back and see where to find them. go back and play the game, uh, play that same level a third time and you get the purple guy? Exactly. Nice. Yeah. So be sure to check your level progress pyramid so you know where you can find the purple guy. It'll show you right away if you're missing it, and make sure to build those resource marts to keep yourself well stocked. I agree. So we're really excited to talk about this new game. It's awesome. Very unique. Oh, we were showing it off at PAX, the Penny Arcade Expo, behind closed doors. I got to show it to a lot of people and see their reactions. They all looked very excited. They were excited and so was I. It's called Dungeon Boss. I can finally say that out loud Dungeon now. Dungeon Boss! Dungeon Boss! Um, it's a really cool turn-based collectible strategy game. So you're collecting a bunch of little heroes. Uh, they're battling. There's a lot of big boss fights. Uh, the graphics are really cool. I, I love the art style. The graphics are awesome. It's 3D art positive. style. We're working on the game in conjunction with Boss Fight, which is made up of some ex-developers who worked on Age of Empires, Halo Wars, and Rise of Nations. Really good team. Awesome team to work with. Uh, it's just a fun game, and it's got tons of like strategy and collectible mixed in with a kind of a role-playing feel. Yeah, so RPG for you kids. Uh, and also there's a player versus player kind of feel to it. So you can actually do teams in, in a way. And uh, basically you create teams of heroes and then they can go against other people's let's heroes. Get, let's get down to the real point of it. What that means is yes. that I get to play against you. These kids go against each yes. other, yeah. We We're have very a thing. competitive. We, yeah, we have to fight each other a lot when we games. Um, so you can check it out. I'm really excited for you guys to see it. We don't have a release date. No release date yet. But we showed you some pictures and you got to see what it looks like. And I'm excited we can actually say it out loud. So Dungeon Boss. Dungeon Boss. Uh, look for more information on it very soon. Stay tuned. All right, let's give away some stuff. Yay, I love free stuff. Uh, what are we going to give away? Today, we are giving away 10 free PC and Mac codes. Awesome. And if you want to win those, all you need to do is tweet or post to our Facebook page, I Love the Pond, self-promotion, mm -hmm. and I want a free game. And once you get your code, if you're one of the lucky winners, just pick your game, hit the buy now button, it'll take you to the cart, and there, there's a question, there's an actual spot that asks you, do you have a coupon code? And you will. You will. Just copy and paste the code into that, and voila, you get a free game. However, please note, mm -hmm. these codes can only be used for standard games that cannot be used for collector's edition content. Because that's just ultra special. I know, it's extra special. 
Fest. But still, it's a free game. It's a free game. So uh, stay tuned next week, and we'll talk about the winners. We'll see who won. Good luck. Good luck. Starting on Halloween, we'll be giving a clue each day about the new Mystery Case Files Mystery game. Mystery Case Files! Yes, and all you need to do is check the Facebook page or watch our show to get these clues. Uh, and then basically each clue from the each day will go for the whole week, and at the end of the week will reveal something about the game. So can we get a clue early, please? I love Mr. Case Files. It's my favorite series. I don't series. know. Okay, fine. We'll give a clue away today in this show. Oh, we are? Oh, yeah. Okay. Guess what, though? You've already seen it. See how I did that? A little magic action. You Basically, if you haven't seen it already, that means you have to rewind this episode and look for it. So you're going to make me watch the episode to figure out what the first clue is. Maybe, yeah. Dude, this guy. So go and make sure to check our Mystery Case Files Facebook page if you haven't already liked it. Check it out and like it. And uh, stay tuned for Halloween, and we'll be doing one clue a day every day until the release of the game. Super excited. Stay tuned. Mystery Case Files. Mystery Case Files. Scary. So I'm back in action this week after being sick last week. Thank you all for your kind words and well wishes. And let me tell you, I am so glad to be back. And more importantly, I am happy to be able to breathe through my nose. That's it sounded a good thing. pretty terrible. Yeah, she sounded great. Yeah. Launching this week on PC and Mac is the collector's edition for Vampire Legends The Untold Story of Elizabeth Bathory. This game is based on the horrifying true story of the world's most prolific serial killer, Elizabeth Bathory, a Hungarian countess who allegedly tortured and killed as many as 650 young girls between the years of 1585 and 1610. In Vampire Legends, help a lord recover his daughter, last seen near the infamous Bathory Mansion, before she becomes yet another victim of the Blood Countess. Also launching this week on PC and Mac is the collector's edition for Silent Night's Children's Orchestra. You rose from the ashes of a family tragedy to become a famous French soprano. Now your daughters are following in your musical footsteps. But on the night of a prestigious concert in Italy, a fire breaks out and a mysterious masked man takes your children. Follow a trail of secrets and deception to save your daughters from a dangerous experiment. Look for it this week on the Big Fish website. Launching this week for iPhone and iPad is Witch Switch. You have been trusted with a potion shop where concoction brewing is the name of the game. Mix and match ingredients to create the perfect spells for your ghoulish customers. Become an expert and keep witches, vampires, and all others satisfied. Get your magic wands ready for potion mixing that is bewitching. So do the, do the things that line. It's funny. Before. It's funny. I think it's funny. Car, I am not gonna do the witches be crazy bit. She said it. Oh, you! <sighs> also launching this week for iPhone and iPad is the collector's edition for Grim Legends: The Forsaken Bride. Within the shadow of an ancient forest stands the lonely village of Ravenbrook, the perimeters of which are protected by magic charms. Beyond the ancient forest, shrouded in legend and magic lies a chasm so deep and feared that is known by the villagers only as the Abyss. No one knows what lies within until a young bride is kidnapped, requiring you to face that which is feared by an entire village. So those were this week's new releases. Lots of stuff to be excited about. They look really cool, and also I made, I made you say that thing. I did it. Anyways, that's the end of our episode. Thank you for tuning into The Pond. Make sure to come back next week to find out the winners of that giveaway, as well as another clue and a reveal for Mystery Case Files, the new game. In the meanwhile, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to hear about fantastic new games, the ones we mentioned. I'll be telling you when they come out, as well as other sales and exciting news. And YouTube. Oh, we have YouTube. a ton of videos on YouTube.com slash Big Fish Games. Make sure to go there. And also, as my notes say, if you don't already have the Big Fish Game Manager, A, what's going on? Yeah. And B, you can download it and get all these new games uh, that we talked about. So. And C, it's free. And C, it's free. People like free things. So it's a natural. Bye! Bye! Hit buy now, it'll send you to the cart, and once you're in the cart, there's a section that actually... Act it is something. <laughs> it is something, we don't know what it does. <laughs> It has a weird sound like I know, that. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know how you use the code after that. It just, you just copy and paste it in just there. Just copy and paste it. It'll blah, sound blah. like a turkey yeah. and you'll get it. So. It's like when you make those websites and all that weird just yes. jargon that's in yes. them. It's like that. It's like that.